hello everyone i welcome you all once again to my channel so let's start our today's discussion on a different section so whenever everyone uh, just jump to the class 11th the first practical they do is one year caliper so what is this one year caliper so as you all know this one year caliper is a device or an instrument to measure the length so to measure length up to class 10th all of you must have used the scale normal scale so this is your normal scale that you know this one is your normal scale but if you have this normal scale why we will go for one year caliper so the question arises whenever we are using this normal scale what is the list count or the list measurement that can be taken from this normal scale if you tell me the answer the answer is 1 mm or 0.1 cm that can be measured by by using this normal meter scale but if you want to measure the length that is less than 1 mm then we have to go for a very precise device and the one is called Vanya caliper so this one is your Vanya caliper how it looks like so whenever you do the practicals that is a format you all need to follow the first format is you will write first the aim of the experiment and here my aim of the experiment is to measure the diameter of a given cylindrical or spherical body by using vernier caliper then what you have to write after this you need to write what are the apparatus required so this is a format i am telling you how to write the practicals the next one is theory then after that the procedure what are the procedure to be followed while calculating then is your observation so i am just guiding you one by one so what are the observation first you have you need to take the observation first you need to take is whenever you are going to hold the instrument the first thing you need to calculate is the list count because that is very important until and unless you don't know what is the list uh, measurement that you can take from that instrument you cannot measure anything so how to calculate the list count of this one year caliper so this is my one year caliper you can see here this one this this elongated one you can see here there are various uh, numbers written over here you see various numbers are there that is 0 1 2 3 4 so this this one is called main scale which is nothing but a normal scale normal meter scale this elongated one and the scale another scale all of you can see here there is a scale written over it that can slide over this main scale you see what how i am using it this upper one that is the one year scale can slide over this main scale and this two one the lower two are called two jaws this two are called the lower jaw and this two are called upper jaw of this one year caliper so now what i am going to tell you i am going to tell you how to take the observation okay? uh, using this one year caliper how to calculate the list count so first of all to calculate the list count you have to note down now i'm just opening this 
you see you can see the scale over here now this is a normal scale normal meter scale so let's just close this jaw now all of you can see i am using a divider so that i can point the small small lines now this the first one let me just close this jaw the first one is called the zero of the vernier this first line the first line is called the zero of the vernier first line then you start calculating from the second one so this is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so how many divisions are there this on the one year scale there are 10 divisions now this 10 divisions i'm repeating again this first one is called the zero of the one year from the second line onwards you have to calculate it as 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so there are 10 divisions on the one year scale that matches with this one is your main scale this scale this elongated one is the main scale this 10 divisions in the vernier scale matches with you see nine divisions of the main scale you see here it is matching it is matching here so that is the nine division because here we are going to get the one one is here that means it is going to match with nine divisions of the main scale you can calculate this is zero of the main scale so this is one two three four five six seven eight and nine so 10 divisions of the vernier scale matches with nine divisions of the main scale so by using this data only we are going to calculate the list count of this instrument that is your vernier caliper so let's proceed so now you can see as i have uh, shown you in the uh, instrument 10 vsd that is 10 vernier scale division vsd means vernier scale division is equals to 9 msd msd means main scale division so this is the observation that we have got now what will happen to 1 vsd 1 vsd will be nothing but 9 by 10 msd so which is nothing but 0.9 msd so what is my one main scale division what is the least measurement that can be taken by one uh, in in your main scale that is equals to one millimeter which is nothing but 0.1 centimeter so now how to calculate list count the list count can be calculated by the formula that is nothing but one main scale division minus one vernier scale division so one msd minus one vsd so what is my one msd one msd is nothing but one millimeter minus 0.9 msd is here so in order to calc diff, uh, subtract we need to make it in one system of unit otherwise we cannot sub subtract so this msd will be multiplied with one millimeter to give you 0.9 millimeter so i can write here this is equals to one millimeter minus 0.9 into one millimeter so that the unit becomes the same right now so you subtract it that would give you 0.1 millimeter so what is my 0.1 millimeter in terms of centimeter so 0.1 millimeter is nothing but 0 0.01 centimeter this is a very important observation so what is the list count of this vernier caliper the list count of this vernier caliper is your 0 0.01 centimeter while in a normal scale what we can measure in the normal scale the list count is 0.1 centimeter so we can measure up to two decimal places now by using this one year caliper so this is the advantage so now how to calculate so as i am telling you the procedures to follow first you need to write down the aim of the experiment then apparatus required then theory then procedure then the observation this is the least count measurement is your observation so let's proceed further then comes your tabulation so you need to prepare a table to take the measurement so let us proceed for tabulation so for the first you need to make a table right now 
So how to make a table? The first one, the first column will be serial number. Then the second column will be equals to main scale reading MSR. This is in centimeter. Which one is your main scale? As I have told you in this instrument, the main scale is this long scale. That is your main scale. So first one is main scale reading MSR in centimeter. Then comes your one year coincident VC. One year coincidence. I will tell you what is one year coincidence and it has no unit. It's a division. Then coming to VSR. This is one year scale reading that is also is in centimeter. So how to calculate this VSR? The for, that is a formula to calculate this VSR that is, is nothing but VC multiplied into LC. The one year co coincidence multiplied into list count is going to give you VSR. So now then the next one is next column will be total. What is my total? Total is nothing but MSR plus VSR in centimeter and the finally we will calculate mean that should be also in centimeter. So this is the heading through which we are going to take the measurement. So first of all now the question arises how to take this reading that is how to take MSR, how to note down VC that is a one year coincidence then how to calculate VSR then we have to proceed. So let's go to the instrument and understand. So this is my spherical body. You can take a spherical body and measure its diameter or this is a solid cylinder. This is a cylindrical body or you can also use a hollow cylinder also. Okay, so let's go to the solid cylinder. I'm taking a cylinder and take, telling you how to hold it. First, just slide it, just roll it by using your thumb. Keep this cylinder inside the lower jaw and then go for the reading, calculation of the reading. Now you see, I'm just using a divider to show you. This one is the zero of the vernier, this one. Now you see the zero of the one year coincides with which division? That is nothing but this is one, this is 1.1, this is 1.2. So the zero of the one year coincides with 1.2. So the main scale reading, you have to read it from main scale and which is nothing but coming out as 1.2. So my reading is, my main scale reading, the first observation I am taking and the main scale reading is 1.2. Then we need to calculate what, what, what is the next thing we need to calculate that is your one year coincidence. So let's go and calculate what is one year coincidence. Now you leave the first zero then go for the second one. From the second line onwards you need to check that which line on this one year scale exactly matches with one of the line of the main scale. So you see the first one is not exactly matching with this line. The second line is also not exactly matching with the this line. The third line you see, the third line, this is one, this is two, this is three. The third one is exactly in coinciding with the this line. So what is my one year coincidence then? The one year coincidence will be equals to 3. So let's write here this is 3. So as I have told you this one year coincidence doesn't have any unit. Why? Because this is a division and it is a pure number and this number can vary from uh, 1 to 9. This number can vary because we have here 10 divisions. So this number can vary. So now what is my VSR? That is a one year scale reading. This is nothing but VC that is one year coincidence multiplied into list count. What is my list count? List count is 0 0.01 multiplied into 3 that is going to give me 0 0.03. So what is my total? Total is nothing but 1.23. I hope so this is clear. So likewise this is the first observation I have taken likewise you have to take 10 observations. So whenever you are going to take 10 
observation you need to take out this cylinder then place it again by holding it through the lower jaw then you have to take first MSR check for MSR actually MSR doesn't change actually what happens this MSR uh, never changes but sometimes it varies now you see this is let me hold it now it's coming okay it's coming in between 1.2 to 1.3 you need to take the lower one so which one is the lower the lower one is 1.2 so this is your 1.2 again it's coming 1.2 so write it over here then what you have to check you have to check for VC so let's go and check for VC so which one is my VC right now you check the one is not exactly matching the two one is also not exactly matching the three is also not exactly matching but right now the four one fourth one is exactly matching with this line you see this is your first second third and this is the fourth so what is my vc then right now i will write vc to be equals to four so the vc is equals to four so what is my vsr vsr will be equals to 0 0.04 and what is my total total is nothing but 1.24 so likewise you need to go and take 10 observations so why we are taking 10 observations we are taking 10 observations to increase the accuracy and to decrease the personal error that we are going to commit because usually what happens whenever we take the measurement we commit such some mistakes so in order to avoid that personal error and increase the accuracy we take 10 observations and then take the average so mean is nothing but the average of this 10 observations so how to proceed then then we will go for after tabulation we will go for calculation so in calculation we need to calculate this mean so what is my mean the mean diameter that is let us write it as d is nothing but the first observation let us take it as x1 just assume that this is x1 plus x2 up to how many observation 10 observation divided by 10 so whatever answer we will get that is your mean so after this what we are going to write after this calculation that after calculation we will write the result that we have got what is the result we have got here the diameter of the given cylinder was found to be this much whatever answer you are getting that you need to put over there then res after result there are two things you need to write that is your precautions and the next one is sources of error so this is the format through which a practical is been written first one is your name of the experiment apparatus required theory procedure observation then is your tabulation then calculation result precautions and sources of error what are the precautions needs to be taken and what are the sources that may create a error while taking the observations i hope so this is clear now i am going to tell you something about this one year caliper now what now the question arises we are using this lower jaw what is the use of this upper jaw why the upper jaw is there now if i will tell you to calculate the internal diameter of this beaker suppose i don't have beaker so i have taken a just a plastic glass so just suppose i will tell you to calculate the diameter of outer diameter so what you will do you will have to place like this hold like this place press it like this you can calculate the outer diameter but if i will tell you to calculate the inner diameter what you have to do you have to take this one year caliper and place it like this you see how i am placing it 
you have to place it like this then you have to open it such that it will fix in this manner are you able to i hope so this is clear you can fix it in this manner then after that you have to proceed similarly similar manner you have to check that which division the zero of the one year coincides with which divisions of the main skin that is coming here here it's coming 6.3 you can see here it is 6 this is 6.1 6.2 6.3 so it's coming 6.3 then what is your one year coincidence the first one is not matching the second one is also not matching third one is also not matching fourth is also not matching fifth sixth seventh eight you see the eight one the eighth line is exactly matching with one of the line of the main scale so that means your one year coincidence is eight right now then you will proceed like this you have to proceed like this your msr is coming out as 6.3 your vc is coming out as 8 then this will give you 0.08 then after that you can go proceed like this so this is the importance of this upper jaw now let us go and understand what is the importance of this instrument this thing that is coming out you see if i am just opening it or i am just closing it i am just doing it like this you see this one is moving inside and if i am going to open it a small wire or you can say a rod like thing is coming out so what is the importance of this one so suppose i will tell you to calculate the depth of this glass what you are going to do you have to place it like this open this one you have to open it like this then you have to place it like this such that what will happen this edge the lower edge is going to touch the lower edge of this uh, plastic material so you can calculate easily what is the depth of this uh, this glass you see now it's just touching the brim i'm just tilting it you see this this is the lower edge of this rod like substance is just touching the lower portion of this glass and the edge is just here you see the edge so in the similar manner you have to take the measurement that is your zero of the one year coincides with which division you have to take the zero of the one year coincides with which division then you need to calculate what is your vc then you need to proceed for bsr and total so this is this one is used to calculate the depth of the cylinder so this is all about your vernier caliper i hope so the vernier caliper and its measurement is clear thank you everyone thank you for watching